Well, hello, are we live? Take five. For those that follow me with my daily videos, I often have what's going on today, which is extremely slow, intermittent, bad internet connection. And uh, let's see if I can get through it this time. I'm going to try and short. This is take five. Let's see if I can make it through. Foundation Friday, reminder, this is for beginners, newbies, people that are brand new that have the desire to become effective advertisers, marketers, salespeople of their product or service. They are business owners, entrepreneurs, sales professionals. You advanced members need not tune in on Fridays. You can skip it and I'll see you back here tomorrow for Success Story Saturday. Let's get right to the basic tip first. As always, I share my Rhino of the day and today it is this Rhino book which is aptly named Rhinoceros Success and it is written by the one and only Scott Alexander who today, it happens to be his birthday. So give him a birthday gift, give yourself an even bigger gift. Go out to wherever you go, online, offline, and get a copy of this book, Rhinoceros Success, Scott Alexander. It will change your life. It's a quick read, a couple of hours, got big print. It's also full of, uh, actually, this is more than just one rhino, I guess, in my collection. Because it's filled with all kinds of full page very fun, cool rhino drawings, including the one on the cover there, the rice while all the cows sitting there wondering what the heck is going on, eating their stuff out in the field and playing by the rules and taking years and years to get where rhinos, because we are rebels, they go very quickly and to places that the cows never go. Anyway, that's the run of the day, and the reason I share the book is because this has been uh, a week where I continue to talk about books. My next book is coming out. And I announced earlier in the week that I am including a section on success stories and I'm welcoming. I've been talking. It's been a crazy busy week. I've been talking to all kinds of business owners, uh, sharing their success stories. I'm going to put them in the book and share their story and help promote them. And when the book becomes a bestseller, you'll be able to say, hey, I was featured in a best-selling book. So I leave that opportunity still open for one more day here. Uh, give me a comment here, steve at stevecypress.com. Send me a Facebook message if you want me to consider having you in the book. And uh, just so happens that look what happens to be coming in the mail in the last couple of days. Maybe the, these authors are, are seeing my videos. But uh, I'm guessing, and I'm correct in this case, that it is a book. So here's a copy of a book by the one and only Rob Onspach, Less from the Dojo, 101 Kick Butt Ways to Improve Your Life, Business, and Relationships. How cool is that? Another quick read. I highly recommend you get this too. I've read the online version. Every page has a simple lesson, simple but profound, when you take action and implement it. That's for my friend, the one and only fantastic entrepreneur himself, Rob Onspach. Then... Got another mailing. Holy cremoli, this one. Oh, this is from my fantastic client, the one and only Nina Hershberger, who has written me a letter, which goes to everybody, even though she's hand-signed it. I'm guessing it goes to everybody, because it says things that she wouldn't say, um, uh, that she would have a more personal note if she was sending something just to me. So uh, evidently, uh, Nina is smart enough to send these out to potential promoters and uh, business owners that can help her to promote this book and she's given me two copies of her newest book 30 minute marketing how I find 10k in any business in 30 minutes I love it because I do the same thing in my guarantee marketing turnaround I just don't promote it as well as nine if I make it into an entire book and she says, I'm um, sending you two copies thinking you may know another business owner who could benefit from the content of this book and could pass it on. So I'm going to pass the book on. Uh, physically, and right here, I am passing. on all over social media you want to go to wherever you get books and look at 30 minute marketing by Nina Hirschberger and there's a picture of Nina on the back she is a consummate marketer she Bill Glazer the founder of Glazer Kennedy inside a circle of fame one of very few people in there she's a fantastic marketer and uh, of course all my clients are 
one of my favorites. The ones I don't uh, just they end up that I made a mistake accepting them. And then here's another one. Check it out. This comes with a fake. This comes with an actual two dollar bill. What the hell? Talking about Car Gary Halbert with the famous dollar bill letter. Here is a two dollar book. And uh, and the one here, you got this uh, Rhino Success book. It is signed by the author, Birthday Boy Scott. Also signed personally to me by Rob Onspach. Nine is books. Well, two kind. She might have signed. Yeah, she signed one to me. And he did not sign to me, but she might have signed her name. Either one. So you see, very cool. And then this one here is the Wise Guys Copywriting Handbook which if you go to Amazon.com, you'll see my five-star review of it because this is really a tour de force. This is the first book by Tony Polici, who is the old, uh, the brother of uh, someone you might have heard of, Joe Polish, uh, famous Joe Polish. Joe, not as famous, but uh, also a master of marketing, and he may be writing words that sell for himself and for other entrepreneurs. So uh, not likely that probably... His calendar's full for maybe even up to a year or two, top copywriters. But, you know, contact him if you want somebody who knows how to write words that sell for your business. Otherwise, or if he's busy, contact me and I'll put you in touch with somebody. But uh, the forward is written by Rob Onspot. So that's two books today coming from Rob Onspot. And this also is personally signed by Tony to me and saying, I rock. Thank you very much, and including the $2 bill, which uh, is just extremely cool. I remember getting one of these on the day it came out, on Jefferson's birthday in 1976, if I remember correctly, uh, one years ago, or maybe it was July 4th, 76, or whatever it was, Mr. Close. And uh, I went and got my $2 bill on that first day of whatever they call it for coin and bill collectors. Uh, since then, I don't know where it went, and I didn't have it officially, I don't think, stamped and certified and whatever. And besides, unless I was going to continue to do this, I'm picking up the garbage. Can I wait until the video's over? Because that's about it. The video's basically over. The point is, if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur or a sales professional, and you ought to be, if you're watching my videos, I would think, uh, otherwise it's Lots of cat videos to watch on Facebook and more interesting to me. Um, you got to write a book. And the thing is, you don't have to write it because it's in your head. It's automatically you know enough about your business. Talk for, you know, enough time to get a book that's this size. I mean, there's only, you know, a few hundred words. And then you see a Nina's book here. She's got lots of pictures and examples. And, and you can fill up the book. Here's some charts and whatever, like, you know, talk for an hour, get it transcribed. I mean, first thing you got to do is plan it out. Like, think of the 10 most frequently asked questions that your clients, customers, patients, your prospects ask all the time. Think about a few more that they don't ask, but you wish they would. That's from the Mike Koenig School. If what he thinks 10 questions they don't ask frequently, but you really wish they would because your answers. He talks about four others that you got to just... He's talking about videos you got to shoot, which is something else you could do. Shoot the welcome video and the thank you video and all that stuff. So uh, borrowing a little bit from Mike there, although I should say that Mike borrowed this concept from likely the same people I borrowed it from, the masters who just say 10 chapters of the book means 10 questions that your prospects want asked or want answered or don't even know they want answered, but they should get answered. And then can you talk each one for five minutes? If you can't, you're really in the wrong business, or you shouldn't even be in business at all. You should be able to talk about your business and what makes you uh, different than other businesses. Tell your story, why you get into the business. Uh, that's the introduction to the book. I mean, if you want the details of this, uh, this um, system, this process, this strategy for getting your book out of your head and onto paper and published, send me a message, and uh, I will you know, uh, put it all into this video, and there are some slight tweaks for each person, but let me know, and I'll share that strategy with you. It's just very simple. Get, talk into a recorded voice. Everyone on their smartphone ought to have a recording. If not, you can call freeconferencecall.com.
www.ghostbusters.com is a website. You can make a call. They'll record it and just talk, answer these questions. Then get that over to an editor. Go to a, any kind of design space online. Type in book cover design. You'll come up with all kinds of websites. Pay someone to design the book cover. It's edited now. It's put in the book cover. And you can put it up for free onto Amazon.com. It has something called Create Space where authors can self-publish. So you don't even have to be accepted by some big fancy publishing firm like Random House or whatever. Uh, you could try there. But first of all, they'll delay the publication of your book probably for nine months or a year as it goes through the editing and acceptance process and all that. You can get your book out 30 days from today from wherever you're watching this. Just get what you know, your knowledge that you know your clients, your prospects need to have to do business with you, to refer you to other people. Just get that out of your head. Record it. Get it transcribed. Get it edited. Slap a cover on it. Put it up on Create Space. You got a book. Okay. Then there's a lot to be done to promote it and make it a bestseller. Something else I'll share with you that's a nice tip, but if you want me to, uh, let me know and I'll advance with you how to make basically any book at any time you want a bestseller. Again, it's just as simple as getting all the clients, patients, customers, members you could want for your business. It really is simple. I talk about it every day. It's just a matter. So hopefully you'll take action. And when you do, by all means, please send me a copy of your book. You know I love to get them. I got my uh, weekend reading right here. I can take one out because that's a, a gift for somebody else. Take the Rhino book out. Happy birthday, Scott. I've already read that one many times. So there you go. I got three books. Ah, I've already ah, I've already read the two of them. So uh, I gave a five-star review this one. Read every word of it. Read this one too. And uh, I will read Dinah's book. So I'm down to my re weekend reading of that. It's just one book. And I can uh, put the finishing touches a little more on my own book. And again, if you want to be a part of my book and be able to say for the rest of the time I was featured in a best-selling book, just let me know. We'll have a quick talk. And if you've had any kind of success you've had in your business because of anything, uh, we can talk about it and put it into my book. That offer is out there. Take advantage if you want. Also, get your book done, folks. You'll see what it does for your, your authority status. Your credibility, your believability, your uh, it'll vault you over other options people have for taking action, including trying to do it themselves or doing nothing. They'll say, this person's the ex expert. i got to get to them. They'll say, thank you for not s smarmily selling me in a you know sleazy way. You've provided me lots of information. Now I'm going to make the decision, wow, do I want some more help from this person? So the book is the best thing you can do for your business. And yes, the physical book. Even now in the world of online and Amazon and e-books and whatever, the physical book, folks, getting this thing in the mail. Picture your ideal prospect getting this in the mail from you as opposed to an email with a link to an e-book that they might even, they might download onto your computer. I'm sure you have, I have hundreds of e-books on your computer that you haven't read. Sounded good at the time, you loved the title, you downloaded it, or it was a free something, and you put it on there, but now nah, you never read it. And if you did, for me, very difficult to read on the computer anyway. I'm like, oh, you know, give me a book. I, I can use my speed reading tactics taught to me by the world's fastest reader, the one and only Howard Bird, who I had speak four different times to my, at my different events for entrepreneurs. I love to have the physical book. Also great when I travel, I'll be flying next week, and I'll take a bunch of books with me so that when they say put your tray tables up and turn off your devices and whatever, like boom, 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 I'm breezing through. Anyway, that's enough for today, Foundation Friday. Thanks for being here, and I will see you again tomorrow with Success Story Saturday. Look at that. We made it through the entire video this time. Way to go.